to my channel. So today is going to be a makeup tutorial on my birthday glam from a few weeks ago. I posted pictures on Instagram and a bunch of you guys said yes to a tutorial so I wanted to do that today. I know I've already said it but I just want to say thank you again for everyone who told me happy birthday. Honestly it was the best birthday I've had in a long time. I'm so happy I got to spend it with you guys and my meet and greet. It was so fun and all the tweets and comments like literally you guys made me feel so loved and so special and I just, I owe you guys so much and I just want to say thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I did do a different lip color because on my birthday I was wearing Joseph Color Stone which I know I wear like every single day. It's my current favorite lipstick but it's still sold out so I wanted to do a different lip color for this look but feel free to do whatever lip color that you want. I'll link all the products I use as always down in the description bar and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. So first things first, I'm going to prime my eyelids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as usual. It's just going to provide a base so my eyeshadow stays all night long. So now I'm going in with the Morphe 350 palette. I'm going to start with this light saddle brown shade and apply it in the crease as my transition color, just going back and forth with a fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to take this chocolate color and a denser crease brush. I'm applying this a little bit lower than the last color, and this is going to start building up that depth and dimension for the look. You want to take your time when you're adding your crease colors because you want to make sure you really blend them out and blend, blend, blend until you can't blend anymore. When I'm applying my crease colors, I start to focus most of the product on the outer edge of the eye and then I start working it inwards. That way you get a gradient effect and it's not too harsh either way. You want most of the product to be on the outer edge of the eye and then to slowly work it inwards. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this even darker brown just to deepen up that crease color. I'm going to apply this pretty low to the lash line and then start working it inwards as well. I'm just applying it a little bit lower than the last chocolate brown color. But this is just going to deepen up the look. You could also use a black shade if you wanted, but I wanted to keep it pretty neutral. I didn't want it too harsh, so that's why I'm going in with just a darker brown color. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but sometimes I'll go back and forth between both eyes just to make sure I get them even. So now I'm taking this color from ColourPop called Lovely, and this is a champagne beige color. I'm just going to apply this all over the lid for some sparkle and glow and pack this on all over. And I don't know, I really like this shade. It's really pretty and it reminded me of a birthday glam color. So I'm going to take a little bit of that darkest matte brown shade that I used on an angled brush and apply it really close to the lash line since I'm not doing any eyeliner today. It's not a huge difference, but it definitely helps mix your falsies on your lash line so that way it looks a little bit natural and you don't see the band of the lashes as much. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and then we can move on to the face and we'll come back and do lashes. I'm priming my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. And then for my foundation, I'm using my EX1 Invisiwear Foundation in the shade F300. This is just always my go-to foundation. It's medium to full coverage, but it still looks really natural and it doesn't break me out. There's no SPF, so if you're going to an event where you're going to be taking a lot of pictures, it's perfect because it's not going to make your face look like a ghost. Plus, if you have yellow or olive in your skin, it's perfect for that because the undertones are perfect for olive or yellow skin tones. So now I'm going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I start by underlining the bottom of the brow and then right above the brow and I create the shape I want. And then towards the front, I bring the strokes upwards to look more like hair. I don't box them in in the front and then I just fill it in. So for concealer, I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, which never fails me. It's full coverage and it hides any dark circles and it lasts all day and it does not crease. 
I love the consistency and how user-friendly this concealer is. It's not too thick, it feels so light on the skin, but it provides amazing coverage and it doesn't feel cakey or look cakey. It just looks like your skin and makes it look a million times better. Obviously that's why I use it because my dark circles have been out to play lately. So now I'm going to bake my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and my Beauty Blender, which is still damp. I'm just going to set anywhere I applied concealer, and I've been getting a lot of questions about baking. All it is is setting your makeup so it does not budge, and you just let it sit on the face for a few minutes, and then we'll dust it off in a little bit, and it makes everything last all day. So for lashes, I'm using Coco Goddess. Surprise, surprise. These are my favorite dramatic lashes. I wear them all the time. So after my lashes are on, of course I gotta do my, got my lashes on fleek dance, hey! And then um, I'm gonna dust off any excess powder that I put on my face because it's been sitting for a few minutes, and then we can move on. I really shouldn't be allowed to listen to music while I do this, it's not okay. So for the waterline, I wanted a nude flesh tone color, so I'm using NARS Rue Bonaparte, my favorite nude liner, and I'm just going to apply this in the waterline, and it's just going to open up the eyes, make them look bigger and brighter. Then I'm going back to that chocolate brown color, and I'm just going to apply this on the lower lash line with a pencil brush, really trying to connect that color to the upper lash line towards the outer edges, and I'm just going to buff, buff until it's all blended. Then I'm taking that darkest brown and applying it really close to the lash line. I love the contrast between the nude liner, the dark brown, and then the smoked out lighter brown. I just love how big it makes the eyes look. So now I'm going to highlight my inner corner and I'm taking a nylon from MAC. You can see how used this is, but I just pack a ton of product on this brush and put it on the inner corner. I literally swirl it in the product and just pack it on that inner corner because you can never have enough inner corner highlight. So now for contour, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow on the NARS Eda brush. I'm just going to contour a little bit in the hollows of my cheeks and also on the sides of my nose. This is my favorite contour powder of life. It looks so natural. And then I'm going to switch to a bigger tulip brush with more of that contour powder and I'm going to start buffing it out and really bronzing up the skin. And oh, I just love this bronzer. It looks so good in pictures and in real life. The color isn't too gray, it isn't too warm, it's just perfection. Then I'm gonna take Tarte Exposed Blush and apply this towards the back of the hairline. I'm not bringing it too much on the apples of the cheeks. It's a really pretty matte neutral color. And then I'm gonna bake right under that contour. I like how this cleans up the contour and makes everything look a lot neater. So if you ever mess up, you can do this and it makes everything look better. Cause I feel like we've all been there where we bring that contour too low. I know I'm definitely guilty of it, so this helps clean everything up. So now to highlight first, I'm gonna take ColourPop Parasol Highlighter, which, oh my gosh, is so gorgeous. It's a peachy color, and you can leave it at this, but I wanted to be beaming on my birthday, so I'm going to layer a little bit of Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Well, not a little bit, but a lot, and I'm gonna back this on right over that color, and you'll be glowing to the heavens. So on my actual birthday, I was wearing a Dose of Color Stone, but it's still sold out, so I'm going to switch it up for this look. First, I'm going to take Soar Lip Liner from MAC, which if you can see how tiny mine is, oh, it's so depressing. It's my favorite lip liner ever, and I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in. Then for the lip color, I'm going to take ColourPop Midi Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is a really pale nude when you apply it. It's kind of like Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood. It looks really, really light, but once it dries, it deepens up a little bit. And plus, I use this darker lip liner to help neutralize the color a little bit so it's not too, too nude. But I love this color. You could apply any kind of lip color with this look though. You could do browns, you could do a red, a plum. I mean, any kind of color that you want, but I just wanted to stick with the pinky nude shades. So here's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know what you think down in the comments as well as any requests for more fall looks. 
I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.